so before I get into showing you the first uh, detailed project I've made for Cheryl using um, the Midnight Garden set from Prima, um, I just wanted to show you this quick, clean and simple card I've made. Um, you might not think it's clean and simple with this flower on here, but the, this is a birthday card for somebody and they do like their flowers. So I've taken this dramatic background paper here and just um, edged it with black sharpie, taken one of the cutter parts and edged that in black sharpie, some glosses and um, a Tim Holtz clipping. Uh, she could see no good reason to act her age. So we'll get on to the rest of what I've made for um, my first project, bear with. Hello, it's Ashley here from Paper and Twine and I am coming on today to show you the first full thing that I have made with my design package for Shower Simone Crafts. She sent me this beautiful midnight garden paper pad from Prima. Um, it's an A4 pad and I also had some flowers which I haven't used in this project and um, stencil and stamp set and I've used everything in this project and um, I'm keeping all my scraps so yes nothing will go to waste. I'm even keeping separately or oh, I've just dropped them on the floor my little strips to do a little grouting card um yes so i'll show you that at some point as well so without further ado because um i need to this is going to go to somebody as just a little birthday gift and um they will hopefully received it by the time this goes up so i need to get busy um in a minute yes so i have made a little folio and um, it's quite simple this is the front and um, this is the back so I've used one sheet of paper pretty much for the cover and kind of cut it in half there and split it it does mean the orientation um, that I've got it that the, the script the script is sideways but never mind and um, I've used some background card um, which I've sprayed with Lindy's Stamp Gang uh, Starburst Spray in Opal Sea Oats, which is kind of a bronzy goldy colour. So um, I used two whole sheets of A4 for this project and um, this is all I've got left. <laughs> so you use a sheet for the cover. I've just folded it in half and burnished it. Um, and yeah so this is the reverse of one of the papers and i've just edged it with some gold gilding wax um, a little bit of one of the toppers i liked the little butterfly there and the person that this is going to i think they quite like shabby chic um a little bit of a cut apart scrap that i had another little scrap of card that i had left over just to embellish the back like a little label on the back and then you open it up and inside you've got pockets so this is um, another scrap of that card that I had sprayed with the gold spray I don't know whether you can see the shimmer on it and then I've stenciled through the fern stencil with tea dye a little bit of scattered straw but I didn't like the colour of that um, and chipped no seedless preserves I thought the seedless preserves picked up on this colour so this is the reverse of this paper here and we've got a double pocket on the front then you open up well it, the whole thing opens up I'm not going to get it all in shot in one go but you see it goes down and down little tiny tiny and most of these are pockets or we've got tuck spots in for ephemera um, so this page here pocket this gorgeous dramatic um, floral print i love it and anemones are one of my favorite flowers of all time i think tulips are my most favorite but i think probably second best would be anemones then um 
there's a little tuck spot pocket here just trimmed with little bits of scraps cut apart you've got the souvenir postcard picking up on the stamped souvenir postcard here i have to say that's the only stamp i've used for this project but it stamps like a dream there was this little tag as one of the cutter parts with adventure on and i've actually just stamped a hole in it i've glued the whole thing down but i've just threaded a little bit of uh, silk thread through there with a little bead on just for a little bit of something something on this flap here we've got a little uh, tuck spot pocket um, and then here I've used Tim Holtz clippings create and beautiful because this person is beautiful and another little pocket there then we look here and we've got a little tuck spot gorgeous gorgeous floral paper little tiny pocket here with one of the cutter parts i love this kind of uh, italic script everything has been edged in gathered twigs and then we've got a tiny tiny little pocket here with free even even tinier pocket here and to measure that it is um three centimeters by about two and a half uh, two centimeters yeah yeah um, yeah yeah two and a half centimeters tiny tiny little pocket not you know not wasting any scraps at all tiny tiny and then uh, you fold it back over uh, this is just all stuck down there's no pocket there just little tiny scraps of paper find that was not in shot so we do that again so yeah the the littlest flap it's just a little bit of intrigue really there's no pocket there i mean i could have left that unstuck but yeah life's too short <laughs> uh, find another little pocket like the i've got the text to the right way up on this one i noticed that on this one here it's upside down oops but i like the way that that is that way up so never mind uh yeah little pocket uh, no pocket on this one because I thought it's just going to get too bulky. Blessed. I love these feathers. Love these feathers. I haven't used a lot of the feathers because I'm coveting it. Um, a little side pocket here. Did we talk about this? Yeah, this lovely, lovely. It's like a master board type. Then a pocket here. And then we fold it up. So that is my first project i have had great fun making this and i need to just stuff it with ephemera now for the recipient um i'm procrastinating because i have to make something for paper craft essentials issue 210 i've done four out of five projects and written the instructions the fifth project is quite a complex structure and i'm procrastinating yeah so i need to get off here now and do that so i will be back very soon thank you so much cheryl for sending me such a lovely lovely design package for my first design team make i'm so excited please comment down below what you think um i love it i've had such great fun it's really chilled me out um as i'm filming this it is uh january the 12th and it is a beautiful beautiful bright sunny morning uh we woke, woke up to a heavy frost but our uh, beautiful beautiful day i need to get out there and get in the sun get some vitamin d i hope whatever you're doing you're all having a nice time i'll be back soon take care everybody bye now